There's a little Tiffany stuff in there. Is your Tiffany gifts in there? I'm Tiffany. Oh, yeah, you see all those nice <laughs> colored boxes in there. It's right in the jersey. All right, good. Yeah. Uh, oh, so uh, hello everyone, thanks for coming. Uh, we are incredibly pleased to announce that Jonathan Osorio has signed a new contract with Toronto FC. At one point in my life, I was about 18, and I made it my goal that I said I wanted to play for Toronto FC. I need to be here, I want to be here. And the road to get there after that wasn't didn't go as planned, but and I don't think anything ever goes exactly how you plan it. TFC didn't really know of me. They didn't know who I was, they didn't know where I was. I was in Uruguay at the time, but my heart was telling me, you know, I, I want to be at TFC. I decided not to go back to Uruguay, and I thought I was gonna get at least a trial. The people in charge at the time ended up saying no. I kept believing in myself. Uh, I joined the CSL team because I needed to play, and the CSL team was actually in the same league as Toronto FC Academy, Danny Dicchio's team. So I used this was my chance. This was my trial, without even Toronto FC knowing that I'm trialing for them in this game. It went very well for me. I think I. I caught the eye of the coaches, but but still, no call, nothing. So I decided, I, I decided, you know, I'm gonna message Diane Dicchio. I messaged Diane Dicchio. I said, I'm interested in joining the academy. Can you can you please give me a look? And Diane Dicchio was kind of, for some reason, he was kind of surprised, and he was like, Yeah, of course, like, come, please come. I joined TSC Academy for like two weeks in November. They they shut it down for the year, came back in January, came back for a week. And then the next week, Danny Dickey told me, you're training with the first team. Ryan Nelson brought me up. I went to preseason, got signed. You know, it was a little bit different than, than some of the other young players, where I think probably the best term to refer to him as is fearless. What he did on the ball and how competitive he was, that is uh, the same also that you see today. I made my debut at the Rogers Center um, in 2013 against Sports in Kansas City. We won 2 1. But when I went on, it was amazing. It's well documented that he had some difficult times last season. You know, he was out of the team. I was very upset of how that my year had gone. Personally, I mean, the team I was very happy with, and it was it was going great. And um, and I am a team player, but for me individually too, I I had to think of myself too, uh, and and individually it was not going well. There was times where I thought, man, the club is against me. They're trying to, you know, they don't want me to become what I think I can become. But it was the opposite. There's just it was a challenge for me, and and it was a it was a test. And if I could get past that those tests, then it will only make me the the player that I, I really can become. It's kind of like an overnight thing where I woke up one day. I said, I'm gonna do everything in my power to get back in this team, to get back to where I am. Not all athletes have that that work ethic, and I think that is something that I, I respect in him. I have it in me to be better. I have it in me to to play the way I was before, or even better. I decided that I was gonna push and push and push and never look back. Definitely once the playoffs reached, he was, he was really focused and he took his opportunity and hasn't really looked back since. Altidore holds this one up. It's Jonathan Osorio, wonderful save from Fry, getting low down to his right. The final, I think, really pushed me. Um, I really got a lot of confidence from that, and then, the, and then in that off season, I w obviously you know you're happy you win three trophies with a team and everything. But I think I, I took the right mentality to say you know what, the year went well for the team, but still looking back at the bigger picture, it didn't go the way I wanted it, and I just wasn't gonna let that happen this year. This is Sebastian Jovinko across goal. This is Zorio. What a finish from Jonathan Osorio! Kicks through on goal, comes back towards Osorio! Toronto FC take Hansen the lead. again, this time through for Osorio! Jonathan Osorio! The hometown boy adds another to his tally this season. Jonathan. 
there's no other way of putting it. It's been a banner year for Jonathan Osorio. Johnny's uh, he's had a, a great year so far. He is our premier Canadian player. Do you know what's funny? We've actually seen him grow over the years at this club into the man that he is. In a difficult season for TFC, he's been by far probably the player of the year. I think I've been there for my team every step of the way in every game. And I think that shows that how much I care and how much I want to be there for this club and for my teammates. And I'm very proud. It was a big deal yesterday here at the BMO training ground as Jonathan Osorio put pen to paper on a brand new contract extension, this which will see him Osorio remain in Toronto. Osorio signed a multi-year contract extension with Toronto Osorio FC. Osorio at 26 years of age has really come into his own and developed into a complete midfielder for this Toronto FC. We are incredibly pleased to announce that Jonathan Osorio has signed This deal actually, it was a lot more than just getting it done because I want to be here. It means a lot more. All my hard work off the field and on, of course, but off the field is is really paying off and showing that I'm willing to do anything to be available for this team at all times. It's crazy when when he first broke through. You know, you saw this young, energetic, skillful, uh, had a little bit of an edge type of young man, and then to see how far he's come since then, I think he epitomizes what this this football club is all about. I think we're the lucky ones to to be able to have him. Uh, on our books. You know, sometimes in life you, you have to think about the challenges and for some people a, a new challenge is necessary. And there, I'm not gonna lie, there was times where I thought, you know, that was, that was going to be the road. But uh, thankful, thanks to God, everything, everything worked out where the light shined here and it showed me that my, you know, my future is, is here and I have things to accomplish here and I hope and I vision more championships for sure I think that's why I signed here to get more trophies because not only do I want to win I want to be the best and, 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 and be remembered so I hope the next four years I can do all that